Hi, we are at Mobile World Congress America 2018 in beautiful Los Angeles. Here, we are doing great 5G demonstrations with Sprint. Let's see what we got. Why 5G early adoption is important? So as you can see, there's a lot of growing interest in use cases that 5G brings to the table. In fact, I would say there's an explosive growth in that interest with people looking at low latencies, applications like V2X, AR and all that. So the sooner you get in and enable our customers to launch these use cases and actually show revenues coming from it, the better for all of us. So it's really important we're getting them early and then help establish the maturity of the 5G ecosystem. How is Sprint leading 5G commercialization with Nokia. We are using a very innovative approach for that. We are actually launching the 4G Massive Nemo radios this year, and we're using the same radios to provide 5G services in multiple markets next year, simply with a software push. What is the new 5G NR demo shown here? We are showing for the first time a live 5G NR demo on band 41, which is 2.5 gigahertz band at Sprint. And we're showing this with our active antennas, which is the 128RX elements, and it is massive MIMO capable. And then it's running on the Nokia 5G Airscale platform, which is again multi-rad technology. So you can actually have even 3G, 4G, and 5G radio units in the same baseband. And the antenna itself is the most compact form factor that we have with all the processing that's there in the antenna as well. So the compute power is there inside the antenna as well. And are we connecting it to a 5G device? Absolutely, yes. We have one 5G test device that we brought here and set up. So the whole thing is running live and you can see, you know, we've got a lot of the GUIs and everything showing you all of this throughput and all the numbers and the data. Why is this live 5G NR demo so important? Well, this is a really significant milestone for 5G development. This is the first time we've actually seen 5G new radio operating in the 2.5 gigahertz spectrum using massive MIMO. So this is the first time we've done this anywhere. And the really interesting thing is that when we get to using all of the spectrum in this band up to 120 megahertz, we can actually go all the way to three gigabits per second of total throughput. So this is a very significant milestone in terms of 5G development. And how does it help use cases? So when you think about all the different types of use cases, so the first sets of use cases around 5G for enhanced mobile broadband. So this is where we're talking about much greater capacity in the network, higher peak throughput, lower latency as well on the network. So think about consumer services like augmented and virtual reality. For things like stadiums, where we want to create very immersive experience for consumers, these techniques and this type of radio capabilities and these bandwidths are going to be really key to realizing all those incredible experiences at scale. What we also brought here to the show are a few of the use cases in which we believe are going to augment experiences and efficiencies for enterprises, consumers, and industries. For example, uh, our ability to have a remote expert support helping crews that dispatched in the field through our telestration and 4K video. We also show here the show uh, the effect of a low latency into industry automation and robot collaboration. That was a good one. Now, finally, what we have demonstrated here as well is using or enhancing uh, the road safety of ambulances by bringing lower latency in combination of mobile edge computing and use uh, the user plane functions into the edge clouds. So we see that if we save one life with that, we have mission accomplished.